Hello my friends. I am here to do a tag video. I was tagged by Erica from Brains to Beauty who I absolutely adore. I love her to death. She makes fantastic videos. If you don't know her channel, I'll put a link down below and maybe I'll put a link. I don't know. I'll put a link over there to Erica's channel in case you want to go check it out. I'll also put a link down below in case you missed that little opportunity right there. Okay, so um, this tag is called the no makeup tag and there are a bunch of questions that I'm going to answer that Erica gave me. So here we go. All right, Scouts Honor, you're not wearing makeup. I don't remember any of the Girl Scout stuff, but Scouts Honor, I'm not wearing any makeup. What is one makeup product that I cannot live without? And that would be my Revlon Age Defying Concealer. Uh, around my eyes, it just seems to brighten my entire face. Um, I don't know what it is about it, but it just seems to make me look like I am awake and alert and ready to go for the day. So if I have to choose one thing that I cannot live without, it would be this. If I ha got a chance to pick two things I couldn't live without, um, the second thing would be my... Um, Urban Decay 24-7 Liner in Zero. Um, I feel like eyeliner really makes a huge difference in the way that I look, the way my eyes are, like the shape of my eyes. I feel like it really makes my eyes stand out when I wear, um, especially black eyeliner. So I love this, and I don't want to live without this either. So we'll say both these. What's one thing I feel confident living without and the one thing that I definitely feel confident living without is highlighter. I kind of feel like, I don't know if you feel this way, but I kind of feel like highlighter is a bit for me rather than for other people. It makes me feel like a movie star. But just for fun, because I do like to do reviews, I wanted to show you my three favorite highlighters. This is my Benefit High Beam, especially in the wintertime when I'm more pale. If you have lighter skin, this one's a really nice one. I don't know how it would look on darker skin, um, but this one is really nice on my pale, lighter skin. I haven't ever tried it in the summertime. I'm curious to see whether it'll work as well when my skin gets a little bit darker. The other two um, this one here is my Bare Minerals and Pure Radiance and I really really like this one because it is closer to my natural skin tone and it um, really gives a nice shine. I feel like it's less noticeable than this one and this one actually looking at the swatch it's very similar and I'm surprised. This is my favorite summertime highlighter on, on tanner skin. This just looks absolutely gorgeous and this is the Laura Mercier Illuminator and it's I've had this for two years and I use it almost every day in the summertime and you can see I've barely made a dent in it um, and it is just the most beautiful color on medium skin tone just absolutely gorgeous um, but completely and totally unnecessary <laughs> Do I feel confident with no makeup on? I do. I do feel confident with no makeup on. There were times in my life when I didn't feel confident with no makeup on, but I think I've come to a place where I'm a mom, I've been through pregnancy, you know, where I got quite haggard at times. You know, you moms out there, you may be able to relate to this, but I feel like you lose all your pride through the process of pregnancy. I mean, the horrible things that happen to your body and all the doctors that look at you and all this. I mean, you just kind of lose it all between everything that happens through having a baby and all. I mean, it just, you know, makeup, come on. Make, having no makeup on is like nothing compared to going through the whole process of pregnancy. That's just my opinion. <laughs> Which part of your face do you like the most is the next question. And this is honestly really hard for me to answer. Like, it's something that I honestly don't think about, like, ever. I mean, I've been getting a lot of compliments on YouTube on my skin lately, and I haven't ever really thought about that. Um, when I was younger and I had acne, you know, breakouts here and there, like, I used to hate my skin, and now that I don't have breakouts anymore, like, I think I just take it for granted. Where's one place you can never go without makeup on, and to me, that's work. Um, I feel like it's part of my professionalism to wear some makeup for me personally. I think people expect me to be all done up at work. I feel like my students, I'm a teacher, expect me to be all done up at work. It's kind of my MO. It's kind of my little, my little thing thing I got going on there. It's just kind of, you know, if I don't have makeup on or if I'm not done up, then people think there's something wrong. And I get asked all day, like, are you sick? Like, what's, what's wrong, you know? You're, you look so pale today. And it's like, oh, do I really look that bad? So I try really hard to wear makeup every day to work because people just, 
basically bash me all day long for looking awful when I don't. And they don't mean it in a bad way. They're just concerned because I look like hell, you know? So work. I will always wear makeup to work. Always. I don't care if I'm dying. I'm still wearing makeup to work. What's one place you can go without makeup on? And I feel like just daily shopping, like grocery store, running, running errands and stuff. I can definitely wear no makeup and be completely fine with it. So I'll, I'll go out like just a complete hot mess and go out shopping and I just don't care at all. Maybe it's because the area I live in, you know, most people look like a hot mess, to be completely honest. So I just blend right in. All right, would you rather go an entire week without makeup or have your boyfriend do your makeup? Now, I have a husband, not a boyfriend, so I'm assuming this is husband too. And I asked my husband this question. He's like, that's an easy one. You'd rather have me do your makeup. And that is a gazillion he's 100 percent right i would absolutely rather have my husband do my makeup because my husband is actually an artist my husband is a tattoo artist we own a tattoo shop and um he would definitely rock my makeup i think i don't know if he'd do it as well as i do it just because he's not used to doing it but um I think he'd do a pretty good job. So I would definitely have him do my makeup over not wearing makeup for a week. I should do that tag too. Baby, you wanna do that tag where the husband does the makeup? Can you handle this? I think I could handle it if you do my you makeup. Can handle my makeup? I think I can handle your makeup. Do you get to decide what I do? No, I don't get to decide what you do. You get to do whatever you want. And it's open to interpretation. It is open to interpretation. <laughs> So it's just makeup. It's just makeup. You do my makeup. It's my husband does my makeup tag. Yeah, we can do that. Oh, gosh. So look forward to that in the future. <laughs> All right, so that's the tag. That's it. That's the whole thing. Nice and short and sweet. I like this tag. I like the short ones. Good stuff. Um, I do have other tags coming up that I've been tagged in, so look out for those in the future. Thank you, Erica, for tagging me. You rock, girl. All right, mad love, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Now that I got them, I don't want to give them away. <laughs> and I told them, I was like, you know, you're going to send me so many of them, I might as well do a giveaway with them.